Hey, how are you today? Welcome to another Q&A segment. Got a lot of questions coming in this September, uh, so I'm going to get right after them. Um, this question was one from one of my clients that's just getting back into training after taking a little bit of time off. So I'll answer really briefly. <laughs> uh, any tips for an old guy wanting to start to get back into shape? I swear every time I start heading back into the weight room, I try and lift like I used to and end up messing myself up. Lighter weights, more reps, weight loss, blah, 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 blah. All right. This is a really common thing after people take a time off. Um, it's an interesting combination of how much time you've taken off, how much training you've done before. Nutrition, recovery, lots of fun stuff. So let's start at the basics. If you've taken more than, I would say, a month off, you have to integrate back into lifting slowly, especially for the main lifts. Squat, bench, dead, clean overhead press uh those big movements can really tax your nervous system but also your physiological system massively because they're just big movements so my pro uh what i usually run into is squats i find if i've taken some time off from doing squats uh, especially big weight squats i can't get under the bar fast i have to slowly build up over a series of weeks so the first week you might jump in and do like 30 to 50 percent for reps what you did before so if you squat 400 pounds you might be squatting 185 to 205 for like six to ten reps just to get your legs back and progressively build up over a series of weeks um it's usually because the strength is there the volume might not be uh so it takes a while for the body to kind of get used to it uh sorry to get back into getting used to it so when you're coming back from training uh, after some time off, you got to take your time. A lot of flexibility, a lot of big movements with lighter weight, and uh, slowly over a period of weeks, just build back up. Take your time. Don't rush it. Like the faster you try and get under a bar and get back under like your 70, 80, 90%, the longer time you have to take in between. You won't be able to walk for seven to 10 days. It sucks. It's not fun. So that's just a simple one. Uh, lighter weights and uh, lighter weights and reps for weight loss. Well, yes and no. Yeah, you probably will have lighter weights when you're going in for a weight loss phase, simply because you're eating in a calorie deficit. And it doesn't matter if you're doing lighter weight, lighter weights, more reps. If your nutrition's not in check, it doesn't matter. Like you can't out train a bad diet. So what you have to do is, is I'm a big believer in you can do one thing at a time. That's difficult. You can have hard training or hard nutrition. It's very difficult long-term to do both. So what, uh, what I think is a, a slick little way to do it is get back under lighter weight and get consistency first. Okay. Get to the gym consistently for three to four days a week, whatever your goals are. Once that's fairly consistent after a couple of weeks, start addressing your nutrition issues. Okay. Need more protein, more water, more veg, less of the fun stuff, pizza, beer, all that stuff. And then slowly start building up your skill sets and goals. When you get to a point where your weights are starting to plateau, because in a calorie deficit, it's very difficult to increase a ton of strength and muscle mass. You can do it. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. When you get to that point, you're kind of hitting a plateau on the weights. Just try and maintain your strength and muscle mass as much as you can while being in a calorie deficit. That's where the hard nutrition part comes in. Your ego is going to take a check with the barbell, but you'll look better in the mirror. And then once you're at the desired uh, weight or how you look, that's when you slowly start increasing your caloric intake and then put more weight in the bar. Okay. It's just a cyclical little system that makes it a lot more manageable for people with busy lives to uh, get their goals. If you're a professional athlete, completely different answer. Your world is nutrition and training and practice and, and that's it. But people that have like a job, kids, all that stuff, Trying to do hard nutrition and hard training is very difficult. So that's about it today, folks. 
Hope you enjoyed that one. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the boxes below. And uh, look forward to doing more of these videos. Have a great day. Get strong on.